Mount Holly and with mail to all persons who requested the page with such notice. And I believe also the board did um, publish a post uh, notice of the special meeting. Pursuant to the board's adopted procedures, no new applications will be started or will this testimony taken after 10 p.m. We're here till 10 p.m. when we all just want to live. Unless the time for the board to act is extended, all such matters will be continued until the next round of the scheduled meeting. If the time for the presentation of the meeting is extended by the board or it's in a discussion beyond 10 p.m., we may hear additional testimony or presentation upon the motion but adopted by the board to extend the time for the matter. If the time limit for the board action is not extended by an applicant on a matter not concluded by 10 p.m., the matter it will be voted upon based upon the record of the evidence before the board at the time the action is taken. Persons wishing to make a public comment must state their name and address, and if providing testimony on an application or an ordinance or a matter be voted on by the board, they may be administered an oath that testimony is to be given. That's the Open Public Meetings Act. Everybody just get food for the board. This is for uh, application number 2024-3 CR to the Board of Education of the Township of Mount Holly uh, for uh, Block 41.05, Block 12.09, Capital Project Review from the Board of Education. Any So we are here tonight, as Jeremy mentioned, for a couple of projects. Um, we'll add the whole school for a small pavilion on the existing property. The proposed project will be located at the elementary school, located at Block 122 Route 12, commonly known as 455 Jacksonville Road. The Board of Education proposed two small outdoor pavilions with handicapped accessible tables at the elementary school. As of here tonight, the pavilion is proposed to the right of the building, right next to the existing playground equipment. So the applicant here tonight is something a little different than a normal application of plan board here. It, as your solicitor mentioned, a courtesy review, which is required under the municipal land use law, section 31. Um, this requires review and recommendations by the board. Um, and this is not technically a formal application, but an opportunity to make sure that the planning board knows what the district is planning to put there and to receive any recommendations that you may have for the project. And the Board of Education would like to hear any comments that you have, recommendations for the proposal. Um, one other part of this first review is that Board of Education has to go and get their formal approval from the Department of Education, which is a little bit different from a normal land use application which has to come to you and all the other applicants. So here, um, this is a requirement for the, for the Department of Education application process. Um, tonight, I have three people with us to go over the application. I have Tom Salapo, who is um, the district administrator. We have Patrick Farmer, who is our architect on the project. And over here on the left, we have Jen Minsky, who is the vice president of the Board of Education. So we will get started as the um, solicitor 
already mentioned, um, we just have our two testifying witnesses tonight. I will start with Donna, who is again the school business administrator of school, the academic relevance of the project and what it is intended to be. So we started this project um, using like, some art grant money available to us, and we wanted to use some outdoor classroom space to allow the kids to be outside for part of their classes, and we performed their gym classes so that they could have, you know, go out and do some um, activities outside and then have a place to sit in cool washroom machine um, during that during that school program. Uh, it's just to give the kids more opportunities for learning without being in an enclosed building and it qualifies for the grant money because it is considered an outdoor classroom. I did I did bring because I think there was some some questions. It's the tables that we're using they're ADA compliant as required by the state. So they're not picnic tables. They're classroom like tables, they're square and they have seats on three sides. Um, with one side to be left open for a handicapped or for a teacher if the teacher wants to go out and work, you know, work with them in small groups. Um, so just to interrupt you, mm -hmm. can we mark this as exhibit A1 and then tomorrow if you could just email it to um, both Jill and to myself so that we have copies no of the problem. Problem. Yeah. So that's A1 is the A1 picture. A2 is the picture of the, of the pavilion. pavilion. I do believe the at least the pavilion was included in the material submitted to the board as well. I'm not I'm not sure about the tables though. Yeah. Is any member of the board any had any questions so far? I'm happy to wait till the end, but as long as you're talking. Table, how many tables do this hold? I was going to ask for the capacity for people, but the table just didn't work. Mm -hmm. yes. And will they remain under the pavilion or will they be taken away? Uh, so so we, we have the six tables. Six. Uh, we were going to have them bolted into the concrete, but the principal decided they weren't going to need them around, so we're not bolting them, but we do have the option if we want to. Is this the sort of table that it's possible to get picked up or, or pushed around by inclement weather? Oh, I don't think the weather will push okay. around. Okay. No. Just making sure. They're, they're metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. So being bolted down is not necessarily a yeah. concern in terms of getting taken away or anything like yeah. that. Okay. Will they be brought in throughout the summer and brought back out in spring? activities, are there any other activities that you anticipate being held on this space? Uh, well, if there is the, um, the possibility to have a recognition for records to be out of the month or honorable or anything like that, we would, we have the possibility of using it to help us out. Primarily, it's going to be an outdoor place yeah. or space mm -hmm. with other use of it. Come up to the yeah, if something comes up that we can use it for, we're going to use it, but with the intention of having outdoor classroom space for students. Will it be lighted and will you have electricity out there? Okay, so um, you can always ask more questions of Donna if you'd like before we close. But we um, are going to move on to Patrick. Um, Patrick is our professional engineer. Patrick, can you tell us a little bit about your education and your professional experience? Sure. Uh, I went to the New Jersey Institute of Technology in Newark, New Jersey. 
university. I graduated with a Bachelor of Architecture in 2006. Uh, I have been a licensed architect uh, since 2015. Um, I work with uh, Reagan Young since 1999, if you can believe that. Um, so. I'm the fish and renal for uh, Mr. Potter, a professional, so an expert witness in architecture. That's good. Thank you. So, in addition to everything that Donna had said, Again, I want to emphasize, I think this is a good thing for the school. I mean, you know, we talked about the possibility of different uses, um, but primarily being an outdoor classroom, I think it's great for the kids outside. Um, you know, I know that the school's excited about it, I'm excited about it, the principal. Um, so um, this is a um, prefab kit of parts that they'll be installing, and I believe um, when we last talked to the contractor before the use of on site, uh, so a burden on the school. So, so the, the base is going to be on a concrete slab, correct? And the, the height of the building, I think I, I saw in there, is like 15 feet. So yeah, you know, I don't have that on here, but it, it was in the uh, path. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So it complies with any height. Uh, complies all well, setback, you know, requirements. I mean, just as far as the use and everything goes, it's, it's located in the R1 zone, which permits public buildings and uses. This would be an accessory building, which is also all, you know, accessory that would customarily, you know, Used with the primary uh, uses are acceptable. So, from that standpoint, we need to. Uh, I think the only other question I have, I know Rick had this, you got this funny note on here maximum 7.5% slope on this sidewalk. That's. We were just going to, you know, put well, that The maximum thing. slope is 5% for that handrail. So, I don't think. Tim and I, it doesn't look like it's a problem here because you're at. 
I want to see the other side of the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to see the other side of the presentation. You might uh, uh, see the picture. Can I go to the other side? Okay, I just want to see the audience. See? Thank you.
have a motion to approve the resolution. Resolution reporting our findings and recommendations to the town council on the proposed, the proposed capital project by the Mount Holly Township Board of Education. So, second. All in favor, please vote. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good evening, and that's Louis Lopez, 98 Level Try. I have just one comment. Any update status to the Gardens uh, uh, Woods projects but that came up was still uh, pending? Okay. Uh, Gardens Street? Yeah, Gardens Street. 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 Oh, okay. That's why I know if there's any update. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Tara Astor, 416 Buttonwood. Just a couple of questions about the meeting. Um, is the August 19th meeting still going to be held? August 19th? Yes. Yes. So the regular meeting. Okay, because the, the, the township calendar isn't quite updated. Um, and then the September 15th meeting is scheduled at the same time as council. Is there any information about when the September meeting will take place? No, that's the first, that's the first time here. Yeah, I, in the beginning of the year, um, I saw the, the list of meetings for the whole year and the September meeting for planning board is at 6 p.m. September 16th, and council meets at 6 p.m. September 16th. So I was just curious if, if that would be changed to a different date. I'll bring that to you. Okay, okay, yeah. thank you. I'm assuming maybe the 23rd, but never assume because the room could be used for something else. Okay, awesome. And is there any pending date for the meeting with the public for the master plan as a date to set? It was mentioned at the last meeting.